All right, guys, this is Pop It Up with Miss R, and I'm Miss R. If you would love to know how I made vegan buffalo chicken strips, <laughs> then just keep watching. Bon appetit. <laughs> okay guys, when you're making your chicken strips, you're going to use Guardian chicken strips, okay? And they look like this out of the bag. I'll post a picture of the brain and the bag. But they look like this. And what you're going to do is that you're going to crack an egg over over your chicken strips. Now, if you don't want the yellow in your eggs, this is just an egg white separator. Okay? And it separates your yolk. Okay? You're gonna put that, you're gonna let that drip off into there. Now, for you guys who want to use the yolk, use the yolk. And this is just the way I do mine, guys. I don't go through a lot of things. You really just want the yolk to adhere to the chicken. Once you get it in there, you can use your hand or you can use a fork or whatever. And what you want to do is mix the chicken around in the yolk. Okay guys, now. Once you have your chicken in your bowl, three eggs did it for one pack of Guardian chicken strips. Okay? I am about to put the grease in the pot. Okay guys, I got my pot right here. I'm gonna use some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to have it low. Now, we're going to go back over here and we're going to season these buffalo strips, okay guys? While this pot here is getting hot. Okay guys, now what I am going to do is I am going to take some Hooters breading. Some Hooters breading, and uh, I am going to put it in a plastic ziplock bag, just a little at a time. Just a little at a time. Now you can put the breading in the bowl, or you could just take a few strips at a time, pop it in the bag. And shake it up. Just shake it up. Now, guys, you're going to do all of your chicken that way, okay? And once you take it out, it'll look like that. It'll look breaded. It will look breaded. Mm 
and you just lay them on a plate while your grease is getting warm. Guys, this is Top It Off with Miss R. I'm Miss R. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. My video covers a lot of different content, guys. So don't miss out on the next one that I show you. So I'm just going to do all of the chicken strips like this. And like I said, this is vegan chicken strips. So, if you're the type of person that's trying to not eat real meat every day, or you're trying to break yourself from doing it, uh, this is an easy way to do it. Now as your grease is getting ready guys, you can take one of these chicken strips and put it in there and see if the grease is hot enough. These cook really fast so um, if you're going to have something like french fries with that, I suggest that you get a head start on putting your french fries in first so that your chicken and your french fries will be done at the same time. Okay guys, the grease is hot and I'm just gonna place my chicken in the pot. Now, you can use a deep fryer or whatever you want to, you know, use, but that's going to cook, okay? Okay, guys, one of the other things that I am going to make with my chicken, wash off the can, is some vegan pork and beans. Always wash your can off, guys. So these are vegan pork and beans, and I'm just going to put them in this pot. And I'm going to have those cooking while I'm cooking my chicken. Guys, the few meals that you have seen me make, the vegan meals, they don't take any time at all. I'm just going to plop this on the stove. Okay guys, it's cooking really well. You don't have to have your fire up high at all. Can you see that guys? You do not have to have high fire. You just want your chicken to be able to get, you know, you want your grease to be able to go over your chicken, or you can use a deep fryer, but it's cooking very well. And behind that is my beans. My chicken is looking really good. It's turning out golden brown. Beans 
cheese in the back. They're cooking well. I have some more chicken ready to go in there. Um, once this batch come out. And that's how it is for now, guys. Okay, guys, so now they're nice and crispy. You see that? So I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take this batch out. They're nice and crispy. And while they're nice and hot, and now that they're nice and hot, what you want to do is, you want to put your sauce over them while they're nice and hot. That will make the sauce, you hear it? That'll make the sauce just soak into the crust. So now since they're nice and hot, I chose to go with this buffalo style wing here. And you just want to drizzle it all over the top. You just want to make sure that the sauce, you know, all of it, okay? You want to make sure that the sauce, you know, all of your buffalo meats. Okay? Just want to stir it up in there. You can use tongs or, you know, anything you want, but this is for me, so that's why I'm using my fingers. Okay guys, so you want to stir it all up in there. And once it's all stirred up in there, you're going to take it and you're going to put it on your plate. If you want. Other than that, you can just pour the rest of the sauce over the top. And then, when the other batch come out, you can put that in here. beans are ready. So what I am going to do now, since my beans are ready, I got my vegan sauce there, oh well, my ranch dressing there, my vegan ranch dressing, I'm just going to pour my beans on my plate. I am going to get a fork. And guys, it doesn't get any easier than that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And this is how you make buffalo chicken strips. All right, guys, wasn't that easy? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's something that you would like for me to teach you that's vegan, then uh, shoot me a comment down below, and I will do a video on your request. Other than that, guys, stay safe. Stay blessed, love one another, and until next time, guys. Mwah. Mm.